welcome back and it's been a while that I haven't made a tweak videos and finally I'm back and today I have got you another top 10 side idea tweaks and they are very awesome and they are very useful as well and I hope you like this video and now let's jump straight into the first tweak now let's jump into the first tweak and you may see the tweaks from the intro so the tweaks is very simple it will add the screen server to your iPhone um, iPod or iPad so all you have to do after you um, install the tweak um, you can go to settings so you can see the screen server after I tap on the screen one time it will go to the lock screen you can see here so now let um, let me unlock my phone then I can go to settings then I can go to sleep server and you can see we have a window so you can choose a video to um, set as a screen server and you can enable while you are in low power mode so even though you are in low power mode you can um, enable these tweaks as well if you don't want to consume more battery you can disable this button so it's mean that when your phone is in low power mode um, the tweaks doesn't enable so it is very awesome and you can set the fade duration and repeat amount as well and now I can choose a video you need to remember the tweaks only work for the video so it doesn't work on photos you can choose a video that you have record or you can download from the internet let's say I want to choose this video I can um, just um, click on choose and then it will compress a video and now I can go back to my um, lock screen now you can see screen server is up here let's go to the next one this is the tweak that allows you to customize the color switch button so it does change the switch button color so you just enable the tweaks and we have color for disable and color for enable so you can select um, the color for disable button so i can just um, drag this bar and then this is the color for disable and i can select for enable and then we can just um, apply and hit on OK. Now go back to settings and you can see the um, button here. So this is the color for disable button. And when I enable it, you can see the color has been changed. So we have two color. If you take a look closely on my iPhone 8 status bar, you can see on the left side. Um, instead of the carrier you can see um, the date so we have full date so this is the tweak that add more um, additional information to your iPhone H status bar so it is very simple you just um, go to settings and then you can set the date so now let's go to settings and I'll go to the tweaks so we have line 1 and line 2 and we have two options um, we also have a sample as well you need to go to this um, website so now go to Safari and I can type an as date format. You can see here and I'll go to this uh, website and then we have sample for the um, extra information as well. Now here it is. So you can see the sample here. So um, for the first one that I mentioned, it is um, this one and you can just copy the sample so let's go um, to this one I can only want to see the number so you can copy this one copy and now go back to settings and you can paste it here so we have the shortcut so you just paste this one and I can hit on the turn key and then we need to respring Now you can see the date here. So instead of um, the full date, we have the number. Dynamic wallpaper line. It allows you to inject the wallpaper into settings app. So it is very simple. So you just go to this app. And this one, it is a live version. So it means it doesn't a full version. And if you want to get a full version, you can purchase it on Sidea. And you can see the live version here. So we have, um, we have between light mode and dark mode. So you need, um, you need to choose two wallpapers. So I choose uh, for, let's choose for the light mode. And I can select um, um, this one. And then for dark mode, let's go to um, another one. Here we go. And then you can see we have um, two wallpapers, light and dark mode. 
and then we can click on create you can set the title for wallpaper let's say um, iPhone SE now click on OK and you can see um, it is successfully um, created so we can go to settings and now you can go to wallpaper and choose a new wallpaper click on still and if you scroll all the way down you can see your new wallpaper here so we have between light mode and dark mode if you have dark mode in the ball it will choose the dark mode wallpaper however if you have um, dark mode disabled you will see the light uh, wallpaper you can see here so it does change depend on your um, dark mode and light mode so it is depend on when you disable or enable dark mode save send email the tricks ask you before you send an email so for example if I go to email and when I click on reply and if I click on send and you can see it will ask me before I um, before the email is sent you can see here it is also useful as well sometimes you accidentally click on the send button so the tweaks will ask you the confirmation first before you send an email cover flow music so the tweaks let you have the ios search, um, style on music app so if you go to your music library so when you um, put your phone in landscape mode you can see we have an old style from iOS 8 and you can scroll across the music and you can click on it to play the music or you can go to forward or go to the previous song and you have a bunch of style as well you can go back to settings and you can select the style and we have a ton of them here so let's go to time machine and I can go back to music and now we have a new style as well so we have time machine let's go to ios 8.3 and now we have a new style from ios 8 this brand new tweak allows you to invoke spotlight so from anywhere on your phone let's say um, now i'm standing on the app store so i can invoke spotlight by long press and you can see spotlight pop up or i can swipe to the right and you can see spotlight also pop up or I can swipe to the left spotlight also pop up as well or I can save my device and you can see spotlight also appear so we can quickly access to spotlight from anywhere on the phone and it is much um, quicker if you want to open another application or you can search and you can go to settings and here are the um, four gestures here to invoke spotlight you can also swipe down with two fingers so it will bring up the spotlight Wolf will add additional feature to Facebook so if you open Facebook let's go to Facebook and then you can click on more and you can see Wolf pop up and you can click on it and then we have additional feature um, where you can um, disable marking messages or disable typing status and it will have more functions so with the new update so you can wait for the new update for more features and functions better widgets let you customize widgets on your phone and i think i did a video on this as well but now we have a new update on better widgets so i think i want to include this one and then you can see a lot of functions so you can go to square widgets and you can set the um, transparent widget and it does only work on ios 13 only and you can remove the header touch and you can enable a custom touch as well or you can set the blur background or you can choose the custom wallpaper and then you can respring after respring let's go to widgets and you can see the widget turn to square and the background is a blur so let me add more widget and you can see here the background and the widget turn to square last but not least so let's go to safari and as you can um, go to any web and you can see the background is removed so the trick is very simple it just um, completely remove the search bar and you can see there is no background for the search bar finally thank for watching i hope you like all of these tweaks and then we'll catch you guys in the next one and we'll include more tweaks and if you want to get this wallpaper and the theme i also include in description this is a demo theme and the wallpaper it is from the iphone se2 in 2020 to share with you guys 
as always guys before i'm gonna be start today's video let me asking you guys to give the video a big thumbs up also make sure to subscribe hit that notification bell so you will be notified always whenever i release a new cd tweaks video all right so let's go ahead right now to start talking about the first one and number one on my list will be the color switch this will be allow you once you download the tweak to colorize all the switches you have under the settings if i go ahead right now and navigate to under the settings here before i'm gonna be talking about the tweak let me just go back here to show you guys like for example i have the switch here and some other switches that i have right now here and even if you go ahead right now and navigate to under the settings it will give you more than that style so once you download the tweak it will be allow you to choose the shutdown or the enable color so you can choose any one of these right now here so by simply if you just zap in on the color right now here you will be able to pick any kind of color from in there and you can tap on the uh, enable color here right now for example you can choose the favorite color from in here once you're done all what you need to do right now just tap on the apply the settings here this will be apply everything respring your device and then after you get back you will be see the switch color will be different just like mine right now here or you can leave it on default once you download the tweak comes in the green and red color so this is what pretty much the tweak will be provide you with as i show you guys really nice and beautiful tweak if you want to download it in your developing device and once again guys this one will be called the color switch moving right now to talking about the next one the next one will be called top me so check this out if i want to launch my settings right now just like that so the tweak will be make that noise or the sound once you want to tap on any one of the application on your iphone just like that and let me just go ahead right now and navigate to that tweak so once you download the tweak go ahead first of all enable the tweak the haptic feedback if you want that also there is another section if you want to leave the light the medium or the heavy and tap on sounds here so once you tap to choose one of the sounds here section it comes with a lot of sounds here you guys can take a look there is too many sounds there is some funny sounds there is normal sounds. some of them is going to be from the uh, apple stock sounds and you can pick your favorite from near as i show you guys so once you're done once you pick your sound from near for example to just give you guys example if you want to choose any one of these uh, options the sound options you don't need to resupring just tap on it and you can just close the application and just tap on it once again to listen for the sound you can hear that right now tap on this one for example and test this one just like that and this is another one here right now here something like that and you guys get the idea right now this is what the tweak pretty much will be allow you with so after you're done from all those configuration you need to remember to resupring your device so your device will be take the effect if you change something else under the settings anyway once again guys this one will be called the top me let's go ahead right now to jump and talking about the next one the next one will be called the flat url so basically as far as we're talking about url so you need to launch your safari browser if you guys can take a look right now here at the top you can see the url section comes with no lines no gap or something like that it comes as a clear just like that so this is what the tweak will be provide you with once you install it in your jailbroken device if you go ahead and asking about if there is any configuration comes with that tweak, there is no configuration just go ahead download the tweak and that tweak will be work right away after you receiving your device and launch your safari browser or any other safari or a browser such as like google or something else like that will be uh, url will be clean just like the way that i show you guys right now using my safari browser once again guys this one will be called the flat url the next one let me talking about the az color this will be allow you to colorize your alert messages or something like that 
let me just showing you guys right now how is that will be looks like even the gap or something like that so for example to bring one of the alert if i want to go and heading to cedia and just showing you guys and giving you example just you need to keep in mind so you guys can take a look right now that most the alerts or you want to type on something comes in a different kind of color so this is what the tweak will be provide you with if i go ahead right now navigate to under the settings right now here you can take a look so if you want to toggle the alert go ahead and toggle that and if you want to choose the uh, alert color just like the one that i show you you can choose your favorite color from in here and also if you want to toggle the enable alert color and there is another section if you want to choose the alert label color and also for the title color and also the message so once you're done from all of those configuration you need to make sure to resetting your device after you resetting your device you will be find your alert messages such as like the title the label the message will be different based on the color that you choose once you download that week so this is what the tweak pretty much will be provide you with and once again this one will be called the az color okay so uh, one of the new widget has been just released right now called the sbew35 let me show you guys how is that will be looks like so this is will be for your home screen as far as i'm talking about here right now about the widget of course i need to launch my x and html in order to show you guys this one and go to background widget here and pick the one that i'm looking for which is the sbew35 this is the one here so you might see right now here it is a bigger time the weather the date and time and something like that this is how is the widget will be looks like after you download it and if you want to place it in your home screen this is not going to be work on the lock screen specific will be for your home screen and this is how is the design will be looks like if we go ahead and navigate to the settings of that widget there is nothing to that much talking about it only thing we have just the clock the language and the icon set so you can't that much customize different kind of things once you download that widget but for me in my opinion this is not that bad uh, looking to have this one in your home screen just like that anyway guys as i told you if you guys are looking to download that widget link will be in the description for the name and source if you guys want to download it once again guys this one will be called the sbaw35 anyway guys this is the most tweak that i have for you guys in today's video in today's update so i hope you guys enjoy today's video i hope you guys enjoy most the tweaks that i show you already so if you guys like the video make sure to give the video a big thumbs up also make sure to subscribe hit that notification bell so you will be notified always whenever i release a new cd tweaks video catch you with the next one peace out